from cyber attacks. I'm working on flying taxis. I'm raising air pressure to help lower germ levels. Seriously, flying taxis. At Honeywell. At Honeywell. We make lots of incredible things. But mostly, we make the future. I've supported the latest uh, Fed rate cut, and I suspect they'll do one or two more. But then it's time for a pause and really absorb this, because the problem with cutting is it's one of the few tools you've got. We all need great Wi-Fi at the table, the counter, in the store. Customers and employees rely on it. Your business needs great Wi-Fi everywhere. You need Wi-Fi from RCN, powered by Eero. It's reliable coverage in every corner. Plus, it's safe, secure, and amazing Wi-Fi for your business and your customers. Introducing enhanced business Wi-Fi, starting at $14.95 a month. Imagine better with RCN. Call or click today. Boy, that looks expensive. Not my problem. Hi, George Foreman and family here. We got tired of getting sucker punched with expensive home system and appliance repair fees for about a dollar a day. We have Choice Home Warranty. They cover over 25 major systems and appliances, including heating, AC, plumbing, kitchen, and laundry. And if they can't fix it, they'll replace it. Never pay for covered home repairs again. Call 800-401-3837. TV. We've had a few weeks of gains on the S&P 500. Can we get to another one? Dead flat coming into Friday. Futures with a lift this morning. Good morning to you all. Up six points on the S&P 500. Positive two tenths of one percent. Gains across the board here with Nasdaq futures higher as well. Up 20 points. Call it a quarter of one percent. There's your opening bell in New York City. Switch up the board in the bond market. The stage set as follows. Yields coming in two basis points on a 10-year. Every single day this week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Treasuries advance. Yields grind lower to 177 on a 10-year after a massive week of losses for Treasuries last week. In the FX market, a euro negative by two-tenths of 1%. Just on the fringes of 110 there, 110.17, call it 110.18. And in the commodity market, crude advances by eight-tenths of 1% to $58 and around about 60 cents. That's your cross-asset story then. Let's get you some stock movers. Here's Bloomberg's Abigail Doolittle. John, we've got a few outsized movers to take a look at. First up, McDermott. These shares are absolutely soaring up more than 50 percent possibly even more they've been very volatile in the pre-market yes up 63 percent this after the energy services company is said that they're exploring a sale of their Loomis tech unit could bring in 2.5 billion dollars but this huge